on both what the political and also the military fallout so far. Yeah, I, I think probably she could return to the United States and everyone says a yeah, good job. Yeah, there was not a major incident as the markets kind of feared there, there had the potential to be and especially coming after the, uh, the rhetoric coming from Beijing that they would not sit idly by the PLA. Yes, the PLA is doing a lot of drills right now and yes, we might be under this situation uh, for quite some time. We know that these six exclusion zones where they're holding military drills, uh, joint naval uh, air force and rocket teams are are conducting these drills in these six exclusion zones, which state media in China has called danger zones. Cue the Kenny Loggins music there, right? Uh, and not to make light of it, but it, it is a very serious situation because it impacts potentially shipping lanes, one of the most uh, busy shipping lanes in the world, the Taiwan Strait, as well as airline traffic. Taiwan says at least 18 routes have been affected and they've rerouted some of their uh, uh, paths, flight paths uh, into Japanese and Philippines airspace. Cathay pilots have been instructed to bring an extra half hour uh, worth of fuel on board their planes uh, just in case uh, they have to be diverted. Uh, so this is going to continue perhaps for some time uh, as China finds its own way to protest Pelosi's visit. The other one is the political fallout, right? Is there going to be political fallout? Uh, already we're seeing uh, that vote on the bill that is being debated uh, in the United States Senate to uh, essentially elevate uh, Taiwan, the relationship with Taiwan, uh, basically declaring it a major non-NATO ally in this part of the world, securing another four and a half billion dollars in security funding, as well as uh, support for Taiwan's participation in international organizations, all of which would anger Beijing. Absolutely. We've got uh, Nancy Pelosi uh, going to South Korea now, and uh, the thing is that um, the... Uh the president there is uh, going to be holding a phone call. What's the point of her being there? Anyway, what stands out for you? <laughs> well, President Yoon is on his summer vacation, Rish. Would you want to be called back to Seoul uh, to meet Nancy Pelosi if you are on vacation, wherever he may be on vacation? Also, I might add the foreign minister is down, I believe, in Cambodia for an APEC meeting or an ASEAN meeting, I should say. Uh, so she's going to be meeting instead face to face with her counterpart in the National Assembly, the National Assembly speaker. But I'm sure she's going to be talking to him and others in Seoul today uh, about the threat of North Korea but also the opportunity for Samsung to tap into this new Chips and Science Act in the United States, $52 billion towards uh, chip investment over five years uh, for those who want to invest further in the United States. Samsung already has a plant in the works in the United States. Potentially, the FT is saying uh, chip makers in South Korea, like SK Hynix and Samsung, could rethink their investments in China and invest more in the United States. It's kind of a hypothetical right now, but I'm sure Nancy Pelosi, who brought that up with TSMC and Taiwan yesterday, will likely be bringing that same message to South Korea. Then she's on to Japan tomorrow, where there's a, another host of geopolitical and business issues to discuss.